webinar. In today's video, we'll be discussing two important concepts in the world of finance, CFD trading and arbitrage. Both of these concepts are crucial for traders to understand, as they can help them to maximize their profits while minimizing their risks. So let's get started. Have you heard of trading on margin? It's a technique that allows traders to leverage their positions by borrowing funds from a broker. This can be useful for opening larger positions and potentially increasing profits. When you trade on margin, you only need to put up a percentage of the total trade value, which is known as the margin. The broker will lend you the rest of the funds you need, which is known as leverage. For example, let's say you want to open a $10,000 position on a stock and the margin requirement is 10%. You would only need to put up $1,000 and the broker would lend you the remaining $9,000. Trading on margin can be a lucrative way to invest in the financial markets. But before placing any trades, it's important to be aware of the fees and commissions charged by your broker. In this session, we will discuss the importance of understanding your broker's commission structure and how it can impact your overall trading profits. Okay, let's start from CFD trading. CFD stands for Contract for Difference, which is financial instrument that allows traders to speculate on the price movements of underlying assets. CFD trading is a popular method among traders because it allows them to trade on margin, which means that they only need to put down a fraction of the total value of the asset they are trading. This means that tra traders can potentially earn larger profit than they would be able to through traditional trading methods. One of the key advantages of CFD trading is that it allows traders to go both long and short on an asset. This means that they can profit from both rising and falling prices. Additionally, CFD trading is a very liquid market, which means that traders can enter and exit positions quickly and easily. However, it's important to note that CFD trading also comes with a high level of risk. Traders can potentially lose more than their initial investment, especially if they are trading on margin. So it's important to approach CFD trading with caution and to always have a risk management strategy in place. When choosing a CFD, e-mini in USA or options broker, it's important to compare the fees and commissions charged by different providers. While some brokers may offer lower trading fees, they may also charge higher commissions or hidden fees that can eat into your trading profits. It's essential to take a close look at the commission structure and ensure you fully understand how your broker is making money. One of the key factors to consider the spread which is difference between the buy and sell price of an asset. This is typically how brokers earn their commission. While a small spread may seem like a good ideal, it's important to check the overall commission structure to ensure you're not paying excessive fees. The spread can have a significant impact on your trading costs and ultimately your profit. A wider spread means that you'll need to pay more to enter a trade and will need to make larger profit in order to break even. Conversely, a tighter spread means that you will pay less to enter a trade and will need to make a smaller profit to break even. It also worth noting that some brokers may offer a zero spread account where the spread is essentially eliminated and the broker instead charges a commission on each trade. While this can be a good option for frequent traders who are looking for the lowest possible trading cost, it's important to evaluate the commission structure to ensure that it's not too high and doesn't offset the benefit 
of the zero spread. Overnight holding. When planning to hold positions overnight, traders need to be aware that spread can increase significantly, which can impact their profitability. To mitigate this risk, traders can choose a broker with a transparent pricing model, understand the market hours of the asset being traded, and use stop loss orders to limit their potential losses. By taking these steps, traders can help to protect their profits and minimize their risk when trading overnight. Other costs to consider include overnight financial charges, which are fees charged when holding a position overnight, as well as inactivity fees, withdrawal fees, and other hidden costs. These fees can add up quickly and erode your trading profits, so it's important to understand the full cost of trading with your broker. Broker's Trading Platform It's important to consider the quality of the broker's trading platform. Having access to a reliable and user-friendly trading platform is essential for making informed decisions and maximizing your profits. The trading platform should be intuitive and easy to navigate, even for novice traders. A cluttered or confusing interface can make it difficult to find the information you need and can lead to costly mistakes. By taking the time to evaluate different trading platforms and finding one that fits your trading style and preferences, you can improve your trading experience and maximize your potential profits. One of the most important principles of successful trading is to manage risk effectively. One way to do this is by limiting the amount of your trading account that you risk on any single trade. One common mistake that many traders make is to risk too much of their trading account on a single trade. While it may be tempting to invest a large portion of your account in the hopes of making a quick profit, this approach can be extremely risky and can quickly wipe out your entire trading account. A more effective approach is to limit the amount of your account that you risk on any single trade to about 2-5%. to This means that if you have a $10,000 trading account, you would only risk between $200 to $500 on any one trade. By doing this, you can limit your losses and protect your account from large drawdown. Trading a small portion of your account also helps to ensure that you have enough funds available to take advantage of other trading opportunities as they arise. If you risk too much on a single trade and it goes against you, you may not have enough funds left to take advantage of other potentially profitable trades. Additionally, trading only a small portion of your account can help to reduce the emotional stress and pressure that often comes with trading. By limiting your risk, you can trade with a clear and focused mindset and avoid making impulsive decisions based on fear and greed. When trading financial instruments, it's important to have a clear plan and strategy in place to help you make informed trading decisions. One key element of this strategy is how you enter into a trade. In this session, we'll discuss why it's important to always place an order to buy rather than buy at market price and the benefits of doing so. Buying at market price means that you are buying an asset at the current market price, which can be convenient in some situations. However, this method of entering a trade can be risky as the price of the asset can change rapidly, especially in volatile market conditions. This means that you might end up buying at a price that much higher then you anticipate it resulting in a loss. To mitigate this risk, it's recommended that you always place an order to buy at specific price. This means that you set a limit on the maximum price you're willing to pay for the asset. 
and the order will only be executed when the asset reaches that price or lower. This method of entering a trade can help you avoid overpaying for the asset and can be a more effective way to manage your risk. Another advantage of placing an order to buy is that it can help you stay disciplined and stick to your trading plan. When you have a clear entry strategy in place, it can help you avoid emotional or impulsive trading decisions, which can be detrimental to your overall trading performance. In conclusion, it's important to always place an order to buy when entering a trade, rather than buying at market price. This method can help you avoid overpaying for the asset and can be a more effective way to manage your risk. Okay, this slide is quite important as we're using this technique in the strategy. When you open a position on a contract, there is always a risk that the price may not move in your favor, resulting in a loss. One strategy to manage this risk is to wait for a better opportunity to open a new position at a lower level. By doing so, you can reduce your losses on the first position and bring your overall position closer to a lower level at which you can close both positions with less loss. For example, suppose you have bought a contract at a certain price and price starts moving against you, as you can see here. Instead of panicking and closing the position immediately, you can wait and monitor the market. If your price reaches a lower level that you believe is good buying opportunity, you can open a new position at that level, as it pointed out here. This will help you reduce the loss on the first position by half and bring the average entry price of both positions to a lower level. By doing this, you're essentially averaging down your entry price, which can help you break even or even make a profit when the price eventually rebounds, as you can see right here. However, it's important to note that this strategy requires careful consideration and risk management. You should never open a new position just to try to recoup losses, as this can lead to even greater losses if the market continues to move against you. An important part of the strategy we use is arbitrage. Arbitrage is a trading strategy that can involve opening two positions in different directions, in the same market and same securities. For example, a trader may go long on a stock if they believe the price will rise and then open a short position if the price goes against them. Once the short position is open, the trader can then open a new position from another level to capture any potential profit. This strategy is used in statistical arbitrage, which involves using mathematical models to identify market inefficiencies and take advantage of them. By rebalancing their positions, traders can potentially profit from any price movements while minimizing their risk. In conclusion, waiting and opening a new position at lower level can be a useful strategy to manage losses on a position that is not moving in your favor. By doing so, you can reduce the loss on the first position by half and bring your overall position closer to a lower level at which you can close both positions without loss of total trade. Remember to always practice proper risk management. Well, guys, it is just one part of the trading strategy that we use. If you're interested in learning more about our complete strategy and how we approach the markets, you can find more information on our website at companyi.co.uk. Our trading strategy is designed to help traders generate profits in the markets, and we have been trading successfully for many years. Our team has a wealth experience and expertise in trading various financial instruments, and we use this knowledge to identify opportunities and make informed trading decisions. 
We believe that a successful trading strategy requires a combination of technical and fundamental analysis, as well as effective risk management protocol. We use a variety of tools and techniques to analyze the markets, including chart patterns, indicators, and economic data, among others. We also monitor market news and events to ensure we're up to date on the latest development that could impact our trades. When it comes to risk management, we take a disciplined approach to ensure we are not taking on too much leverage or exposing ourselves to unnecessary risks. This includes using stop-loss orders, position sizing techniques, and closely monitoring our positions. Overall, our trading strategy is designed to help traders generate consistent profits in the market while managing risk effectively. Well, thank you for listening and we look forward to helping you achieve your trading goals.